Yarn Snackers, welcome or welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, or in case you're new here, my name is Roxanne, also known as Bi Bun, and I'm a mixed media artist and illustrator. March is always an exciting time around here because it's Art Snacks birthday month, and for their seventh birthday, we're gonna be having a watercolor and colored pencil party. We've invited a whole bunch of other cool supplies too. And this time around, I plan on creating something extra special. So grab your box and let's celebrate because this is the Art Snacks box breakdown. Welcome back to another Box Breakdown, the monthly video series where we take a closer look at some of the supplies and techniques found in the latest Art Snacks box. And as you know, when you see this icon up here on your screen, it's an Art Snacks Plus item. For Art Snacks birthday, I really wanted to send them some flowers. And not like real ones, I mean like two dimensional art ones. And who wants to draw some regular old bouquet when I can do something a little cooler? Like a terrarium filled with succulents. I think it's time for us now to dig into the March box. Let's get started, shall we? To start off, let's grab our first Arts Next Plus item, the Grumbacher Cold Press Watercolor Paper Pad. This seven by 10 paper pad features 12 sheets of 300 GSM paper. It's also got a subtle surface texture, so it's really gonna soak up a lot of wet media, which is great for layering and applying multiple washes. And knowing what's ahead in the March box, this paper is just what we need for this month's challenge. With my paper ready, I'm gonna first lay down a pencil sketch. Here I'm using a pencil from a previous Art Snacks box, the Tombow Monograph Mechanical Pencil. This is one of my favorite pencils ever, by the way, and you can grab one from the Art Snacks shop. Psst, I think there's a birthday sale happening over there. As for my illustration, I've sketched up some succulents and dirt within a glass terrarium, topped with a gift tag, of course. With my sketch ready to go, let's take a look at our next item from the March box. This is a tube of Rembrandt watercolor. Made in Holland, this watercolor is new and improved. This paint has the highest concentration of pigment and binder, which translates to really pure and intense color. 46 new colors have been introduced to the Rembrandt watercolor line, and we all got something a little different. I snagged a dust green color in my box, which is perfect for my terrarium illustration. So before I start putting color into my sketch, I wanna share a little trick with you. A big part of using watercolor is finding that perfect balance of water and paint. That's ultimately what's gonna give you control when applying your color. Something I like to do is have a little scrap of the same paper next to my illustration. This will allow me to test that balance, let off any excess water from my brush, and make sure I've got the right value happening. On my illustration, I'm gonna to begin to build up color in the soil. Here, I'll use a wet on wet technique where I'll tap more color into a soaked area to allow things to pool and spread. This will help to create some dimension and shading throughout. So let's take a moment now to talk about the brush I'm using. This is the Royal and Lane Nickel Menta Series 88 brush. With its synthetic squirrel bristles, yes, I just said squirrel, these brushes are made for watercolor painting. Not only does it hold a lot of color, but its handle can soak in water without cracking or swelling, which is good for someone like me who takes horrible care of their brushes. But you'll survive my laziness, won't you? I'm also using its shape to my advantage by pouncing paint around to create a more textured look. Once I've filled in the soil, I'm now gonna start working on my plants and the terrarium. For this, I'll be swapping brushes, and thankfully, the Arts Next Plus box is giving us a second one. And it just so happens to be one of my favorites. Meet the Princeton Velvet Touch Series 3950 Synthetic Brush. And oh man, do I love this brush. It's fluffy, holds media, and keeps its shape to a beautiful point. It also features synthetic bristles and can be used with all mediums. Personally, I use these brushes for both watercolor and acrylic ink. Now there's a reason I'm doing this line work so early. Typically with watercolor, I would wait to do this last as not to smudge it with other wet media. But as you may remember my hint at the start of the video, I've got some colored pencils up ahead. To avoid any resisting, I'm laying down these watercolor outlines now and will just do my best to work around them. Also note the lighter value of paint I've used on the back lines of the terrarium. This will help to give the appearance that these plants are in a glass structure. I will also add a light wash onto the gift tag. This will create a nice foundation of color for other media I'll add in on top. Which leads us to our next item. This is the Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle Pencil. This is a 100% water soluble pencil that will give you ultra creamy color when blended with a wet brush. 
Just looking at the point of this pencil, you can see how packed the pigment is. One of my favorite way to use these pencils is actually with watercolor. I'm going to apply the pencil directly on top of my areas of paint and blend it together with a wet brush. As you can see, I'm concentrating the color around edges to create some shading and into rocks and small details to build depth. Moving on to the plants, I'll use this pencil to layer up color. And I have to remind you that these are very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. As I fill in these plants, you'll notice I'm also being very careful not to smudge those terrarium outlines. Before we look at our next supply, I'm gonna add in a little more of that green watercolor into the remaining plants. With this nice foundation of paint and water-soluble pencil in, I can now put down more color. For this, I'm grabbing our next item, the Brunzeal Expression Colored Pencils. This pack is an Art Snacks exclusive and features four cedar encased pencils with a thick 3.3 millimeter core, so it won't take too much pressure to apply and blend their color. I got a four pack of cool tones, which pairs nicely with the green and blue hues happening. I'll begin in the soil area by building more color on top of shading and into the rocks. As I creep up into the plants, I'll play around with all four colors in the set to build up color, create patterns, and really make everything pop. With all of my color in, I'm ready to bring this illustration to completion. For this, I'm grabbing our last item, the Graphite Brush Liner. It's got a springy brush nib, so you can easily adjust the pressure of your hand to deliver different kinds of lines. This new to Arts Next item has pigmented and waterproof ink, so it's going to play very well with the other materials in this month's box. You all know I love a black outline, and this is just the thing my terrarium needs to feel finished. And let's not forget about that little gift tag at the top, which I'll address to Art Snacks. After just a bit more details in black, I'm then gonna quickly return to our watercolor to finish things up. Here, I'm just adding a very subtle wash all over to help create that glass effect. And there you have it guys, the March Art Snacks box. Cheers to seven years, Art Snacks. This one's for you. If you're new to Art Snacks and wanna celebrate with some new supplies, there's a link down below where you can sign up. Of course, while you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for future box breakdowns, join us for free over on Mix, and follow Art Snacks on social media. This has been another Art Snacks box breakdown, and I'll see you all next month. Bye.